Now, that's what I call a kick-ass introduction, right? Well, hello 2008 and welcome to a new review, this time Sensei of the Sanctuary from Bandai for the PS2. Many of you people maybe know already that this game is based on the manga slash anime of the same name from the 1980s. And by the way, sorry for the crappy picture quality because my capture card won't work right, so this is the best I can show you at the moment. Logitech webcam quality at its best. Wow. <laughs> okay, moving on to the explanation part of this game. Sensei is basically a beat em up that is based on the characters and events of the Sanctuary chapter, which seems to be one of the most popular of this entire series. You have the choice of many modes like a story mode, a one on one battle mode where you can fight against a friend or the computer. And collection mode for all the fanboys and girls out there who are going crazy for merchandising, clips and stuff. And at last the Demon Pope Fist mode, where you can play against the good guys. Options of course. But let's start the story mode to show you some bits of it. During the load time you see a little Sayer on the lower right. And when you're moving your analog stick around constantly he charges up to OVER 9000! <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, when you buy this game, prepare to see a whole lot of sequences like this. It's a story mode, you see a lot of things going on. In some scenes you haven't even f to fight after all, you just see people talking about things. And before you have even noticed it, you have completed the level and haven't done anything or everything after all. Okay, what impressed me as I first played this game was the music, because it's absolutely fantastic. The graphics are okay, not that much of a big deal, but um... Oh yes, this scene shocked me a little bit at first. No, don't kill Bibi Athena, you asshole! Oh, that was close. Hooray for the hero! Long live Iowas! Well, that must hurt. We stand here forever, or what? Nope. One more thing, you've got to get accustomed with these long sequences. I mean, you can skip them. But seriously, once you are into the story, it's actually pretty intense and exciting. Oh, speaking of skipping, I think I'll skip this. I skip this, yes. It takes a little bit to end. Seriously, if you want to know the whole story, read the manga, watch the anime, do whatever. But I actually want to play the game and make a review. Damn it. This is a nice idea that created the start of each level in this game like an episode of the anime. So we see Seiya and Yuga running around to rescue Athena because she was shot by an assassin from the Pope. That guy that we saw in the beginning. That jackass who tried to kill her as a baby, you know. Yeah, and I also skipped that sequence. And no, this isn't an assassin. This is Mu from the Ares Palace, one of the gold sands, uh, and he will teach me the basic controls of this game. Oh yeah, and the voice acting is also amazing. There are also French voices available in this game, 
and they aren't bad either, but I prefer the Japanese ones. And also here all that dialogue stuff, blah 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 blah. It's sometimes like watching an episode of Dragon Ball Z, but this series was actually before DBC. So before you say something like, Ooh, wanna be Super Saiyan and shit, watch this first, okay? Yes, and I skipped the tutorial. It's definitely too long. I will show you sequences from the game and explain the controls for you people. Now I'm fighting Aldebaran who looks a little bit like Rao from Hokuto no Ken. Doesn't he? All to know for the basics is um, square for a weak attack, X for a strong attack, the R1 key with the attack key for throwing, triangle for dash and circle for charging your inner cosmos slash releasing it. The first thing which is a little bit odd in my opinion is the fact that you cannot jump in this game and I first thought what the fuck ever heard of Tekken or Soul Calibur? But believe me, once you are into the controls, it works actually pretty fine. It um, actually reminds me a little bit of Evil Zone for the PS1, which has also kind of familiar, familiar flaws like Sincere. But yeah, try it out. Isn't that hard and uh, works pretty good. The special moves are also easy to master, as well as your magical abilities, as you see on the screen. And it's kind of rewarding when you execute a special attack or whatever because of the sequences to it. Like that, he got me right on the tail. SHIT! But it looks cool though. But remember, revenge is sweet, asshole. What the fuck was that, you may ask? Let me explain it. Notice also that there are three bars on the lower left. These bars are showing the length of my cosmos and the higher the number, the stronger will be the attack that I execute with the circle key. And when the three bars are full and I keep pressing the circle key, I charging my big bang gosh. By releasing it, something very cool will happen. Just watch. Yes. This wasn't a Kaneko Diver, by the way. This was a Pegasus Rolling Crush. But there are many, many moves depending on what uh, character you use and how long you press the circle key. And now we're switching to the versus mode, where you can fight against a human or against a computer. Yeah, and it's actually pretty fun to play it, because almost every character in this game has his own star sign, and playing as a star sign, <laughs> you know, if you are Ares or Taurus or whatever, playing against your friend who is a different star sign. <laughs> yeah, it's fun to play. You have over 20 characters to choose from, that you also have to unlock during the game, during the different modes. And here I chose Iki, who is badass and the coolest character from the series and I fight against Deathmask because he's a completely asshole. So and during this fight scene I give my final opinion about Senseiya, the Sanctuary. It's a decent beat em up game, it's not that bad that many people say. Sure uh, the audience who recently played games like Tekken and Soul Calibur won't have much fun with this game. It's not that complex, it's very easy, um, but I wouldn't say that this game is also made for fanboys and girls. If you are open for uh, interesting fighting games or games in general with very spectacular scenes of fighting, give this game a try. Just watch if you have the possibility, because uh, I only know this game is available in Japan and in Europe. I don't know if uh, exactly if it's available in the US but if you are able uh, in the US to get this game just try it I don't think that you regret it it's not that long but uh, you have things to do in this game and so with this words and this fight I thank you for watching and see you soon